So today we are going to do the experiment on determination of angle of repose by fixed funnel method. Yeah. First take the burette stand and uh, arrange it on graph paper. Now fix the funnel. So while fixing uh, we need to take care about that the gap between the pile the pile and the bottom of the funnel should be 6.5 mm so to fix that we need to do the two or three trials to fixing the funnel after fixing the funnel at a particular height we need to uh, close the thumb close the orifice with the thumb and place the sample into the funnel And now remove the thumb and allow the sample to flow down. If it is not properly flow, give the small tappings. Then the sample will flow down. And forms the pie. And just remove the tripod stand slowly and now make the circle around the pile make the circle around the pile make make the circle circle again nama round the now measure the height of the pile with the help of two scales one is placed vertically another one is placed horizontally on the pile and note down the height of the pile in centimeters and now remove the sample into the beaker and measure the diameter of the circle which is taken as diameter d and now from that calculate the radius half of diameter is equals to radius and now calculate the theta value theta is equals to tan inverse h by r tan inverse h by r so here we get a height of 2 cm and radius of 3.6 cm substitute these values in the equation so uh, h is 2 cm and radius is 3.6 so by substituting the values of h 2 cm and radius 3.6 we get a theta value of 17.62 and we have the sum of the standard limits that is theta is equals to 25 less than or equal to 25 the flow will be excellent the flow is considered as excellent if the theta value is 25 to 30 theta value is 25 to 30 the flow is considered as good flow if the theta value is 30 to 40 the flow is considered as fail are possible if the theta value is more than 40 the flow is considered as poor flow so today we are taking a sample of granules hence we get the theta value less than 25 hence that is a 17.62 the flow is excellent for the given sample the flow will be 
एक्सलेंट फ्लो सो नाउ वी आर डूइंग द फ्लो प्रॉपर्टीज डिटर्मिनेशन दट इज अ डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ एंगल ऑफ रिपोज बाय अनदर मेथड विच इज अ ओपन सिलेंडर मेथड इन दिस मेथड वी हैव टू टेक ए ओपन सिलेंडर एंड वन ग्राफ पेपर एंड सैंपल सो इन दिस मेथड फर्स्ट प्लेस द ओपन सिलेंडर ऑन द ग्राफ पेपर एंड प्लेस द सैंपल अप टू थ्री बाई फोर्थ क्वांटिटी फिल द सैंपल इन टू द ओपन सिलेंडर अप टू थ्री बाई फोर्थ क्वांटिटी Yeah. Now, remove the open cylinder slowly. Hence, the particles will flow down and forms the pile. And now, for this pile, make a circle. and now measure the height of the pile so one scale is placed vertically another one is horizontally just touches the the horizontal scale will just touches the pile and thereby we can measure the height of the pile the height of the pile is noted in centimeters that is 1.5 centimeters and now just remove the sample into the beaker and measure the diameter of the circle diameter of the circle and half of the diameter will indicates radius which is also in centimeters now the diameter is 8 hence uh, the radius is 4 centimeters and uh, now the equation for angle of repose theta is equals to theta is equals to tan inverse h by r substitute the h and r values h is 1.5 radius is 4 and calculate the theta value here the theta value is 14.07 so here also we got the flow property that is less than 25 hence it indicates excellent flow the value is less than 25 the flow is excellent so this is why we had to do the flow properties determination by fixed funnel and open cylinder method